Extra innings, playoffs hot and heavy. We'll have scores at KSPD.com. Other area teams, Lubbock Cooper softball taking game one over Chapin, 13-6. Leveland Lubbowettes fall to Crum to end their season. Friendship Baseball falls to El Paso Montwood in game one, and Seminole winning the series today over Perryton. Let's get to some of the highlights, starting off in softball. La Mesa and Tulia. Golden Tours up one. Game to none, that is, in the area round. They're up one nothing here. First pitch goes to the dirt. Wild throw to third. Yamini Delgado likes what she sees. She comes around all the way from second. Tying the game up a one apiece. Same score in the second. Macy Del Toro fires a dart to center. Carislin Uresti, no relation to Abner, makes the diving catch. Still 1-1. One, one. Lady Tours up 2-1 to one in third. With bases full, Lexi Hernandez barrels it deep to left. That's a grand slam. La Misa moves on to the next round as area champs. They sweep the series, winning game two, 14-4. Shallow Water and Stanton in game three. Phillies up a run. Desiree Johnson finds some green grass in the right. That's going to play two runs. Give Shallow Water some cushion. Later on, the Phillies up four. Kaylee Olivo also in a right. Plates two more. Shallow Water walks away. Area champs by a final score of 18-8. They move on to the regional quarterfinals. Over at Tascosa, it was game one with Lubbock Cooper today in baseball. The first inning, big one for the Pirates. Samuel Castro deep to left. That's going to play to run as Boston Roberts scores. Pirates already up 6-0. Then the Pirates still not done. Timothy Haynes at the dish. Gets all of this one. That's gone. The three-run shot for Haynes. Lubbock Cooper scores 10 runs in the first inning alone. They win at 15-0 with game two tomorrow at noon from Leva Cooper. Amarillo at Monterey Baseball. Amarillo's Will Flaming takes strike three. Monterey's Jamarcus Smith keeps it scoreless through the third. Then it's Melo Castillo grounds it out here. That's going to bring in Colton Flores to give Amarillo a 1-0 lead. A defensive game, but it's the Plainsman coming back to win 2-1. Game 2 tomorrow in Amarillo. Plainview and Abilene. At Lubbock Cooper, here we go. Eagles, Ryland Stokes sends it to the outfield. It's going to get caught, and Trey Simpson going to tag on up, and he'll score safely. Plainview, though, still up 4-2. to two. Then Beckham Paul gets out. That brings in Xavier De La Cruz. That cut the deficit 4-3. to three. Then Plainview's Wyatt Finch finds the gap. Going to bring home Isaiah Medina to ensure the Plainview win 5-3, forcing a game three, but would fall in game three, 4-3, to three, ending the Bulldog season. Shallow Water and Dalhard going at it in game two of their series in Bushland. The Mustangs looking to close out the series in game two. On the mound, Cameron Swanson was pumping. It's six strikeouts today. Just allowed one hit. Then later, Shallow Water steps on the gas. Garrett Boshma up the middle. That's going to score Maddox McDonald. Mustangs win by run rule 10 0 in advance as by district champs. Snyder and Glen Rose. Tied at two, Tigers Anthony Luna, the walk-off hero, scoring Dom Dominguez to win it three to two and force a game three tomorrow. Love it, Cooper Liberty and Toya Gavin McPherson, the dribbler to second. He's going to slide in safely at first. The ball going to get away. That's going to allow two runs to score. Later, the Patriots still swinging the floater into left center. Give me a heck of a catch here by the outfielder, but that's going to bring in another run. Liberty wins it 5-1 to take the bye district. Denver City and Alpine tied at two. Jonathan Rodriguez, base hit the other way. Racing around from second, that's going to be Daniel Gonzalez. Turning on the speed there, the Mustangs up a run at that point. Later, next at bat. With a base hit once again to the left. Rodriguez now rounds third. He's going to come around to score. The Mustangs hold on and take game five, seven to five. Crosbyton and Morton over at Lubbock Christian. Morton up 2-0 in the second. E.J. Riva stays fair. Braden Villarreal comes sprinting on home. A.J. Mendoza doing likewise. He rounds the bases. 4-0 Indians. Same score. Lane Lyon makes contact with the ball. He's going to float it just past second. Rivas come around to score. 5-0 Morton. Next inning, Chiefs will get on the board. Josiah Vega grounds it up the middle. Nehemiah Marquez sprints in for the run. Morton gets the win, though. 9-5. The final, they're Biders are champs in the one-game playoff. Teams that